Hello. Stuck on Choose Your Own Adventure Alpha? Well, here is a guide how to complete it. This mission is all about colors. The easiest way to do this mission is have a group and be in Discord or a similar program, where someone in the group can stream to a person not actually in the mission. The person watching the stream records the colors as they are collected and tallies them up, telling you the most collected colors for each round. For this mission, you may want to take in 50 or more med brews, food, drink, and focal chili. For armor, you're going to want high durability flak pieces as your tech gear mostly doesn't work. Use your Federation tech suit for the parts you don't have high dura flak for though. The tech boots are good to have as they work in this mission keeping you from taking fall damage. I went in with high dura chest, helmet, and legs. Make sure to have two sets in case one breaks. If it is common for you to break your flak, then bring more sets. For weapons, the tech rifle is good if you have some decent rifles from the drops. A good tech bow works as well, but shards are heavier than element and you do not want to run out. The tech pistol is a good backup, and if your team is hurt, you can heal them, though the med are good for healing. Alright, so you collect colors in the first part by picking up keys and hitting pressure plates. When the doors appear, have your tally person let you know what color was collected the most. That is the door you want to choose. And in the second part, you collect colors by killing the colored dinos. Again, at the end, the highest number of colors collected is the door you want to go through. In the third part, you collect keys and then tally the number again. This room is a bit more puzzle than the first two, but it isn't hard to find the paths. Once the colors are tallied, choose the correct door. If you want to see the full video, let me know. The last part is the boss fight. This one is a bit trickier, but not bad. The boss has three floating summoners. The two smaller ones show you the color of pressure plates you need to hit. Hitting the correct plates allows you to disable the summoner's shields, allowing your team to deal damage to them. Hitting the wrong plates will give you a shock, stunning you and spawning in adds. The less you mess up, the easier this part is. Once the shields are down on the two smaller summoners, kill them and then the boss's shield will drop, allowing you to damage the boss until it summons two new small summoners. Then simply rinse and repeat until the mission is over. Make sure to help your teammates out if they step on the wrong plate and get stunned. Let me know in the comments below if there are any missions you would like a guide on. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have an awesome day.